This is 2OF Entertainment. You know where it says if you're lucky, there's a few special guests. I haven't seen a yeah. special guest on this show yet. Well, it's because you're not lucky. Okay, I was just checking. All right, I just wanted to make yeah. sure I wasn't no. drinking heavily. Well, you know, I mean, we we could have a few special guests, in which case we would be lucky. Oh, okay. Right. But we're not. Well, right. it could be a typo. It could be if you're mucky. If you muck. Okay, let's go yeah. with that. Okay. And I see you have a uh, fedora on to look like one of. Uh, our gang look like Spanky from our gang. So is there a reason for the fedora? Or just wanted to wear a fedora. Okay, there yeah. you go. Oh, just right. you know, just 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 for the hell of it. Okay, well, no, and you so, looks good. You got a bowl of soup when you get that hat, or how's that work? Um, well, well, I was always told if you want to get a head, get a hat. So I thought, well, as I'm not a head. I always I always tell my ease if you want to you want to get a head, get head. But that's a different story. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do today. What? Right, here we go back. then. Are you ready? I'm always ready for this show. Yeah. We're not that ready. We're not uh, that apparently, ready. you're not ready. There you go. Look at no. you pushing a button. <laughs> On this week's No Snobs or Knobs, what do we have? We have Little Known and Strange Weird Facts, which I got right yep. last week. Rant of the Week. On this day, The lo- the Lost Words, Knobby News, Sex Horoscope, Real, made up, or exaggerated. Okay, we're not doing things before you die. Thank God. And AI slut. I mean, AI babe of the week. All right. Well, yeah, let's see what yeah. we got. Uh, you ready? Here, here oh. we go. All right. Look for this. What is the only fruit that has its seeds on the outside? Raspberry, a blueberry, or strawberries? I'm going to go with strawberries. Okay. Right, well, we'll, we'll bank that one as we normally do. We we'll get the answer at the end of the show. Sure, or, we'll uh, be two or for the, two. The, the millions of people that are now tuning in, of course, will be googling the crap out of that, and then of course uh, they will. and then they're putting it in the comments below. But uh, we'll, yep. we'll we'll just ignore them and okay. uh, let's move on. All right, rant of the week. Do you have a rant of the week? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I, I would... do. I well, I have. I have a well. Obviously, because the e box has been, you know, the email box has been deluged again. So we have. I've by, made a selection. The Beaverlick people from, from that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, Let's look at the Beaverlick. I don't have a real. I have stuff, but I don't really have a rant of the week. I have nothing but praise for the airline I flew last week. So that's not really a rant. Um, but they went oh. above and beyond service, so it's not really a rant. So I can't really. I don't want to rant. No. About that's that's like they did their job actually. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So I'll just mention Alaskan Airlines. Okay. Superb. Alaskan Airlines is almost as good, almost as Qatar or Emirates. So there you go. Oh well. There so you there go. you have it. Good, good for them. Yeah, very impressed with baked, them. Very, very impressed. Do you get a baked Alaska when you go on the show, or uh, when you go on Alaskan uh, Airlines? You, I know, but you know, what's real? There's there 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 are people in the airplane. The, the, the flight attendant people they go they're very nice um the people that do the gate stuff some of them not so nice but the flight attendants yeah. i i find them to be you know the pot everyone's nice on the plane oh okay yeah. well so it's I'm with it. that, yeah well that's uh you know you're spoiling the segment which of course is rant of the week by being nice about something but let's move on okay. yeah let's go to beaver like see what beaver looks got to say oh dearie and me it's miss Eileen dover again and she like, sent us right. her rant of the week. Here we so go. Eileen's like, rant of the week. Kentucky. Why do I yeah. need a 10-step skincare routine? Eileen, have you seen yourself? That's why. Um, back in the day, we used soap and water, maybe some lotion or sperm. Okay? Now, there are serums, toners, oils, and cleaners. My face is not a scientific experiment. Eileen, we've seen your face. No, it looks more like the landing of the moon. So uh, maybe you should try the 10-step uh, skincare routine. I don't want to tell you. Yeah. I don't know if that's really a rant. I just think that's um, good marketing. But then you get these yeah. Korean girls that are 50, 60 years old, and they look like they're, you know, 20 yeah. years old. Oh. 
Ace. 80 yeah. for all those people who've been watching this show. 80 years. Oh, that's true. The 80. And if you look at Rachel from Social Intercourse, Rachel's like 70. And Rachel has that pure, because she uses all the skincare stuff. Yeah. 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 So, so it does well, work. Okay. So I mean, but I wasn't quite, quite sure my, what she meant by 10 steps. I mean, it, is that is that like, uh, is that on her stairs? Is that what she, did she have to take? No, no, no. I, when, you, when you do Upstairs skincare, routine, to her there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff you have to do. It's not her oh, stairs. Right. Yeah. You right. not climbing stairs maybe, to get to her skincare. Yeah, I thought maybe she had to go up 10, 10 flights of stairs, 10 steps on the stairs to to do a skin care somewhere. And the fact that she was higher in the house, that you know, the atmosphere might have affected. But, you know, that's just my interpretation of that. That hat's not helping you at all, is it? Anyway, yeah. No, no, that's not. It just means there's 10 things you have to do to make your face look pretty. So there you okay. go. All yeah, right, Eileen. Well, thank you. I, I, Every yeah, you have to say hello to everyone in Beaver Lake because that's yeah. Where, I'm that's probably going to need about is. 30 30 steps then for me. Okay, yeah, so here we go. go. There's not enough steps. Anyway, on this day, Nobby, what do we have? What's on this day? On this day, uh, well, first of all, a co- first of all, compliments towards me, it would sound. But there you go. Let's move on. So, on 1972. Okay, the Great Emu War ends in Australia. On our, oh my God, the Great Emu War, seriously? Yeah. It's is seriously one of the strangest true. wars in history. No kidding. Australian soldiers spent weeks battling emus. Yes, the flightless bird. I, I, I'm afraid to read more. Farmers had called for their help due to the birds destroying crops, and the government sent soldiers with machine guns to handle the problem. I'm surprised that oh, the yeah. government won. The birds were more resilient than expected, and despite thousands of rounds fired, the emus won the war by simply outrunning and outsmarting the soldiers. I rest my case. That is to the emu, to you gentlemen. I love it. That is good. That is the best. Jeez, the emus I think outsmarted we have to... humans. Here we go. This is this is especially for you, Mr. Emu. <laughs> Emus are basically just dinosaurs, if you will. They're in the, they're from that era, so of course they're smarter yeah. than we are. Yeah. The good but thing they didn't up. get a hold of a gun; they would have shot back. Right. Yeah, but like it's interesting that. to know that uh, you know because Australian history is, shall we say, limited um, in its depth and width and age. Yeah. That uh, the most important thing ever happened to them in 1972 was the fact that he had a war with a few birds. But uh, but there you go. That's um, you great learn something. New war. Old. I like it. Yeah, That's you, great. You, I love it. You learn something old every day on this show. Uh, there you go. So, I like that. That's yeah, very here cool. We here we go. This is not lost one. words. Oh yeah, this is where I got to figure out what the word meant. Last week was something that we never figured out. All right, what's the last, last word week? This last week? week was was Gong Farmer, which I yeah. hoped you would be using at all your dinner parties. I did. I, I every dinner party, I called everybody a gong farmer until they found yeah. out what it meant, and I had to stop. Yeah. Okay, so this is the this week's lost word is okay. codger. Oh, old person. The words I had on the show. Go ahead. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> you and your soundtracks. <laughs> a term for an old man often suggested he's grumpy and eccentric. Ah, I was right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we we should we should have called we should have called this channel originally two old gorgeous two old gorgeous. That would be funny. Oh well. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got that one. Good for me. You All got right. that one. You got that one. Then uh, you know. Oh yeah. Hey 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 hey. Yeah, we go. Hey. Settle down, guys. Settle down. Yeah, uh, calm down, studio audience here. Yeah, we so. me. We can. I know. Well, you of, know, we I'm, have a I'm studio getting, audience. Getting, getting out of hand here. It's live. If they want, if you want yeah. to be part of the studio audience, feel free to leave your comment. And we'll give you the address to show up to. Okay. Next. Yeah. What do we have? <laughs> so, let's move on. Oh. This, oh, Navi news. Oh, my red. I'm never ready for this. But this is going to be great. All right. What's our Navi news of the week? Well, I was going to call it the Codger News of the Week. Codger News of the Week, yeah. But, Codger uh, News of the Week. Here we right. go. Number one. German teenager snitches on parking offender as a hobby. What? Yeah. The, an 18-year-old Nazi named Nicholas Nazi has become to known as the reporting master. I said <laughs> master. 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 Yeah. Yes. In his home country of Germany, snitching on thousands of parking offenders to the police. He wears a neon green overall and rides his bike around the busy streets, hunting parking offenders and snitching on them to the police as a hobby. This yeah. is interesting 
he should just apply to be a parking officer then in the German police and, right. and get paid or get a commission, I guess. Yeah. It's an he's interesting hobby. 18. Okay. Yeah, he's 18. Right. Well, you know, you got to do something when you're 18. So, That's not what so I was he's, doing, he's either out snitching on people who are double parked or he's masturbating. So that's about as far, that's about as, far as he could go, I think, really. Okay. Well, and, Nicholas, um, good for you, pal. Yeah. That's, uh, well, you know, is it, a, is it a contender? We ask ourselves. Uh, I don't know. It. Unless the others really suck. This one doesn't even get up there. Yeah. Oh, God. So far, so far, <laughs> what's winning is the the Great Emu War. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my, that's what's winning. So right, here we go. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, oh, Indian couple scammed victims of four million rupee. I'm sorry, Indian couple scams victim of four million with Israeli made time machine capable of reverse aging. Yeah, okay, okay, here we go. An Indian couple owns a therapy center in Kumpo, whatever, where they allegedly convinced people that they were aging rapidly due to excessive polluted air, claim that they could reverse the aging process. And with the help of an Israeli made time machine, give me a break, an oxygen therapy. Um, the doobies yeah. are suspected of having deceived many elderly people looking for a way to regenerate their youth and fi filling their pockets with um, 4.1 million, I'm assuming that's dollars, not rupees. That's dollars, yeah, that's dollars. Okay, 4.1 million dollars. That's interesting. I think Barnum and Bailey said it best. There's one born every minute. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Well, well at least it wasn't a slurpy machine. May I get you a slippy side? That would be very nice. I get you a slippy and I will continue your aging. Yes, I would. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Yeah, well, like I say, you know, for, 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 for every crime, there's a victim, you know, so. Yeah, uh, there's something. Uh, okay, so let's move on now to uh, number three. Number three, hold on. I have to make notes. World's smallest Rubik Cube is just. 0.9 inches wide cost over five thousand dollars to celebrate the yeah. 50th anniversary of the original rubik's cube japanese toy maker mega house that kind of is contradictory yeah. to making the world's smallest cube set out to create the world's smallest rubik's cube the company came up with the idea from a project about four years ago and started working it out really since 2022 give me a break although making a meter squared only five c i'm sorry 0 0.5 centimeter in width doesn't seem that difficult to make and functions rubik cube with rotating face <clears throat> and with a big challenge mega house had to team up with midgets no uh, mega house had to team up with precision cutting company to ensure all that the tiny parts worked as intended. You could have just teamed up with uh, midgets and you would have been fine. So yeah. there you go. Uh, Brad it's, Williams it's is a, is a, is a, actually, a tiny you, person and he could have done this for you for half the price. So you, you can go. actually play with these things, but you've, you, you do need tweezers. So, um, you know, all I can it's say made, is... So basically, this is made for midgets. Got it. So you have a Rubik's oh, Cube now that's made for midgets. Okay. Well, it's actually, I mean, it's the ultimate gift for... The, for the, who? An idiot? The, 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 that any girlfriend could give to their partner if she thinks that their penis is too small because she'd give them a pair of pincers and a no, tiny birds with one stone. I got it. I yeah. like it. And Good so um, there, there you go. Uh, uh, play with that for a change. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, oh God. Oh, okay. Number four. Number four. Republican candidate borrows family for camping video. No, campaign I like, video. I like this story already. Dare oh, right a Republican candidate running for Congress in the U.S. state of Virgin, uh, Virginia, sorry, landed in hot water allegedly after borrowing a hot family for sex. I'm sorry, borrowing a hot family's friend's family for a camping video because his family was just too fat and ugly. Okay. He's recently accused of trying to mislead voters by posing with a wife and three daughters. This guy's got some problems and of a longtime friend and trying to pass them off as his own. Anderson is not married, doesn't have any children, and his campaign states, and he lives with his dog. Well, you really shouldn't call your girlfriend a dog. So this is interesting. Who cares if you're single and you live with your dog? Like, why are you borrowing your friend's wife? Well, obviously, well, yeah, ob obviously, his campaign manager said, look, you know, this is, you, 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 look, two things. First of all, you're called Dierick, which was Anderson, which is, you know, by itself probably a typo but yeah. um 
uh, and he lives in in Virginia, and he's uh, uh, you know a Republican candidate. So they got all those things against huh. him. So all the uh, so the campaign manager well, he's just following said, in Trump's what? footsteps. He's just lying. You, know, you okay. need you you need you need a family. So go go and have one. And obviously he couldn't do that very quickly. Um, maybe he was a possessor of because he's he doesn't have a girlfriend. It would seem maybe he's a possessor of, of a pair of pincers. So he had to then go and borrow one. Borrow I think not not pincers. Derek, if you're listening and watching this, which we know you are, because everybody watches the show. Yeah, you should just come on. Excuse me, the show, yeah. or have one of your campaign people come on and explain to us Shout who's us. the idiot Shout that came up with this idea for you. Um, yeah. And also, the bad part about this is. This is bad on many levels. You're borrowing your friend's wife. That sounds terrible. With his three daughters, that sounds worse. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing, there's no, there's no like nice thing here. This is all just a bad story in general because you can go this, take this in many different directions. I would have just campaigned with my dog and I would have been happy with that. Yeah. And if you're gay, the, who gives the a the shit? The dog would be happy. The dog would be like, happy. He's probably gay. I'm not saying I'm not saying you are. You're not. But it seems like you're gay or you're a confirmed bachelor, and you're just sleeping with a lot of women. Who cares? You don't need to show yeah. people you're on a camping trip with a fake family. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard so far. This in the emu wars, even though the emu wars isn't part of it, is winning. But this guy, unless something, this guy is an idiot. So I think this guy may win. Go ahead. Yes, thank you, fans. Thank you. Thank you. Calm down. Calm down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like a little woohoo. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, that's that, that that's that's the midget that's playing with the Rubik's cube sitting next to me. Yeah, I'm sure he is with the tweezers. <laughs> so, but the, so let's move on now. What I've well, I think five come up before. Well, you know, in some countries. Number five, audience members. Hey, we have audience members. Often members seeks medical treatment after sex scene at the opera. Yeah, I'm not even going to read this yet, but this wins. No, I'm just kidding. Um, something Susanna, a radical feminist opera organized by composer Paul something or other, debuted, yeah, just... uh, debuted to a crowd in Stuttgart, Nazi Germany on October 5th. The polarizing one act opera dates back to 1921 when it first caused a scandal over 100 years ago. Ooh, it's Ooh, been on the stage, it's, it hasn't been on the stage. Uh, for the first time. Okay. 18 audience members needed assistance after suffering nausea, shock, and in a case a doctor had to be called to their aid. Those requiring attention had seen real sex acts, painful oh. stunts, both in real fake blood and infliction of bodily wounds and piercing all carried out on stage. Yeah. Sounds what did like you awesome. think you were going to see in this opera, you bunch of morons? This one, oh. this is dumber. This is dumber than the guy who rented the family. Yeah, that's well, crazy. That sounds like my sort of opera, to be totally honest. But sex opera, go. yeah, sex opera. Well, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, a little bit about what, what, what has it moved up? Does it, does it get uh... sex opera right now? If, if my first choice is going to be the Great Emu War, but I know that's not part of the six. So yeah. right now, the sex opera is winning because that's just stupidity. The idiot that picked the family, he's an idiot. He wins for the idiot. This is winning so far for the craziest story. Yeah. Okay. All right. right. Well, uh, after five, it would seem is Italian woman. Oh my God! Italian woman's thick tongue earns world record. I don't even want to read this one. An Italian woman's massive mouth muscle earned her a Guinness World Record with her tongue. Of course. Was confirmed to have a larger circumstance than a ping pong ball. Holy moly. Ambra Gunnanoli, 37, told the Guinness World Booker writer she decided to apply for the record after seeing a photograph of Dante Baines, the former holder of the male version of the largest circumference circumference record. Um, her tongue measures three times by a doctor and averages 5.4 inches became the official measurement. Well, congratulations to you and your boyfriend. I'm assuming is a lucky, or if you have a girlfriend, lucky person. So there you go. That is, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. So All right. So basically, here's the order for the winners. Emu War, even though it's not on your list, that's definitely that one. That really won. Um, 
this people that went to the satanic opera that passed out and watched all this stuff you're idiots that that's my number one and then the number two is the idiot that had to rent the family because he's afraid to tell everybody he lives with his dog so there you go but that's pretty funny pretty funny stuff and what's the worst one the worst one is the german teenager snitching on the people <laughs> the chick with the tongue i still have to i'm still i'm still figuring where that one would fall <laughs> but i kudos to her so yeah. and the indian couple they should just be taken out if you take advantage of the old old people you should just be taken out back and yeah well, they're, they're, in they're, India, probably they they're probably yeah, already already on, on the way to prison so uh... not prison nothing they should be shot oh sex horoscopes here we go nice. Sex horoscopes that are getting laid this week. Let's find out. Yeah, this let's spin right. that wheel of fortune. We have a wheel so of fortune gonna spinning get, thing going on now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I looked for a wheel today to be to be spun, but be spun. I couldn't okay. find I couldn't find it on time. But I will right. do because I mean this show needs this show needs more sound effects. Oh, because it does because the seven hundred and thirty of them that you have now isn't enough. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your um, money. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for your money. Thank you. All yeah. right, here we go. We're off. Number oh, uno. Aries, 70% chance of getting a little nookie this week. Congratulations. Yep, they're out there doing it. The Taurus, 25%. Uh, sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, it looks like the, 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 the bull's bull not going to be born. No, he's, he's run out of wings. He's run out of Red Bull this week. He's run so out of Red Bull this there. week. Here we go. Oh, my, 98%. Yeah, they're at it. Wow, they're at it again. Like... Those girls are at it again. You know, you know what's really what cool about the jump? They're always getting laid. Yeah. I'm not like yeah. they are. Oh, I'm waiting for hundred percent, but Gemini 98%. Congratulations to you guys. If you're a Gemini, don't, don't forget to reach out to the show. 1-800-EAT-ME. Um, we'll help you yeah. out. All right, go ahead. Next. Well, there so. we go. Cancer. Cancer 53%. Sorry guys. You yeah. Sit home in your mom's basement. Oh, Leo 32%. The, the what line happened be, to the line? Ro- yeah. They won't be the roaring line? tonight at all. No, no. That's terrible. Well, yeah. Yeah, the only thing he'll be doing is just Nothing. toasting his nuts, toasting his yeah. nuts by the fire, I think. But, yeah, uh, and talking yeah, bad, uh, to Adam about God. Yeah, Go ahead. yeah b- bad week, bad week for the line. Here we go. Right. Virgo. Virgo, oh. 3%? You guys yeah. shouldn't even get out of bed this week. Yeah. You I guys just stay that, in bed this uh, week. That, that's one twelfth of the population that's totally and you know, absolutely... You know, if you're a Virgo done. and you get some this week, you call us. All right, let's yeah. see what else we got. Yeah, if you have the energy. <laughs> if you have the energy, yeah, because you have to make up for everybody. Libra, yeah. 67. Libra. Wow, this is a bad week for sex. Yeah, like 60, yeah well, 70%. Yeah. yeah, stuff happens. Scorpio, 77%. Wow, this is very yeah. low. This they week. Said, yeah, for free, the Scorpions, you, you normally do pretty good. Yeah. I think. Yeah, but, yeah they um, do. The Gemini's always do good, so I'm always impressed with yeah. that. But Scorpio, seventy-seven. All right. Yeah. Sagittarius, sixty-eight. That's uh, that's bad. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Capricorn, seventy-three. Yeah, better than yeah. Uh, what you would call it, the Leo, I guess. So yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Better than three percent. That's for sure. Yeah, the cap. Let's go. Uh, Aquarius, go. eighty-eight yeah. percent. Congratulations! Just, Somebody's finally getting up there, other than the Gemini. Yeah. Okay. Are you? Right. Have you got your calculator out, Stephen? Because I'm getting my calculator out. out. Eighty-eight and eighty-eight and What's the Pisces. Whoa, shit! That's sixty percent. Sixty-four percent. Ah, not getting laid. All right. Well, the story of my life. There you go. Yeah. I mean, no. this. Uh, uh, don't don't be upset. I mean, you, anyway, we think I was making this stuff up, but, uh, but don't get upset about it. But uh, that's I'm the gonna be upset. Week. So there you go. All right. Well, thanks for the sex horoscope. Now I'm depressed for the rest of the day. Good. Can't yeah, wait well, to go to my well, meetings. Yeah. Well, well, you can tell everybody. You can tell everybody they're all gong farmers and uh, enjoy there you yourself. Go. Okay. This Deal is a new thing. Or exaggerated. Okay. Yeah. I've been. I I tried to get some conspiracies uh, going. Okay. Um, and, and so. This is a section where, uh, yeah, you have to just give. I, I think you probably best if you just gave very simple reasons why you think that the, this particular theory uh, of um, is either made up, exaggerated, or, or real. So okay, let's do this. 
the moon landing was staged. The theory of the night faked the moon landing. Yeah, that's been around for a while. I'm. I think we went, even though we lost the calculations, and we can't tell yeah. anybody how we got there. I think we went. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, had, I think it's. I think we went. I don't think it was. I think the moon. There's a there's a movie that just came out with uh, Scarlett Johansson and uh, Tatum, whatever his face is. Have um, we been paid for this promo? Yes, we have. Um, oh, okay. And I watched it. It was very cool because what they did is they they were while they were actually landing on the moon, they had a sound stage where they were landing on the moon just in case something went wrong. They could switch to the sound stage. Mm-hmm. So when I saw that movie in my mind, I chuckled. I go, I would believe that more than we didn't go um, that yeah. we landed on a sound stage because realistically, nobody can keep a secret on a deathbed. Everybody tells everything. I would think that they would tell everybody. You know, at some point, somebody, even like Buzz Auburn, who's still alive on his deathbed, is going to go, we didn't go. Okay. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. back then, it was the it was the race. It was the communists. So I'm going to go with we went. I don't, I don't yeah. think it's- so, so, so for you, it's a mixture of uh, it's real and all like a fuffle around it. It's just exaggerated. That's basically I think I think it like the movie, which I thought was a very interesting point of view, which I never really, I think, I think they probably had a soundstage where if something went wrong, they could have shown the soundstage in the ask, you know, like it, you would have never known. Yeah. So I'm kind of, maybe that was it. But I, as I remember watching it as a child. So I'd like to think that we actually really went to the moon in 1969, whether we did or didn't, I have no idea until somebody actually goes there again and shows me the lunar module, shows me the, the Rover, shows yeah, me the that American could all be, flag. That could all be fake. That could all be, there'll be somebody out there saying it's all, you know, QAnon or whatever, saying it's all yeah. fake. So, you know, I know, but I'm, like, I'm going to go just because it's a childhood memory yeah. of mine that we yeah. did go to the moon. Well, I thought we'd start off with an easy one. There are some slightly more complicated ones that I found. I thought okay. we'd start off just to get everybody, you know, into what we mean by real, made up, or exaggerated. Gotcha. And I like it, it. It's, it, and some of it's quite confusing. It is. You think, oh, yeah. uh, well, uh, you know, at the moment that you're doing that, you have to sort of seriously consider. Oh, yeah. I agree. So anyway, yeah. that's for next week. We've got some more goodies moving. So let's move forward then. This is. Oh, this was what uh, what fruit has its seeds on the outside? And I said a strawberry. You said a strawberry. And it's strawberry. There you go. Two for two. Thank you. Thank you, fan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, He's added, it, it, stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> Put that away. Yes, That's I will pretty. take off. I will take off my hat. For, for doing that, I'll take my hat off. Anyway. There you go. Get, get there security. You so there it's you go. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We need a lot more security in this place. I get can up. see that. Hey, we don't need security, steam. We need a bucket. But that's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's our right. Oh, AI baby. Well, so we're going to leave with this. So everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We also have merchandise if you want to get one of our cool logos or that painting behind David. Um, you can get that, which is our new 2OF logo, which is very cool. Um, and we thank you for listening and watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And I know the shorts for this show blow up. The show does okay, but the shorts, people love the shorts. So if you're watching the shorts, enjoy. So once again, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you all next week. David, give us our AI Bambi of the week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.